Well, inside the neck of a VAV box, there's a, a little flow module like this. And it, it's not exactly the same as a pitot tube, but it's similar. It measures the total pressure entering this way, and it measures the static pressure from behind. Now, it may be a, a plastic one like this. It may be an aluminum one like that. You have to know which one you have and refer to the calibration chart on the box. You can't just say it's a six inch, this is the number. You have to go with the calibration chart that's actually on the box. And reading is simple. If you're going to use a magnet you put the, the upper hose on the red, the other hose, and you'll read a differential pressure of the air flowing at that station. Okay. Over here, it's the same thing. The upper hose goes on the upstream side. The other hose goes on the downstream side. It's a good idea if you're going to take these readings to pinch the hoses. If you're going to have the cap off for very long, make sure you put the caps back on when you're finished because if the caps aren't on, then it'll either think the reading is a lot higher than it, should, than it actually is or a lot lower. So make sure you put those little caps back on when you're finished. And I always try and pinch the hoses when I'm taking the caps off to put my hose on, just to make sure it doesn't throw it out of uh, calibration. Okay. I just want to make you aware that they're very, they can be very different. There's lots of different ones on the market. So don't say, I have a calibration chart for a six inch box. You've got to make sure you have the calibration chart for the particular six inch box that's on your site. This is the same for the fan powered boxes. The fan power boxes will have a calibration chart on the box. Okay. You can't even say I have an EH price six inch because some of the sensors are different from, from factory to factory. So you have to have the calibration chart for the particular unit that's inside. Okay. You have to make sure that they haven't sliced one of the hoses when they put the, the ductwork on the neck. This one has a nice bead here, but uh, if they've sliced one of the hoses, then you won't get an accurate reading either. Okay? Just something to be aware of.